Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, and let's get right into it. Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan, the Knicks fan, your host, and let's get right into it. First thing I want to say, don't forget to hit the like button. I definitely want you to subscribe and leave a comment. Now, let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to start this off um, because someone told me, actually they left a comment and told me that the Knicks was going, was going to go on a six-game losing streak. And starting losing, starting game that we was going to start this losing streak on was going to be with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, that person was very adamant and seemed very definite that the New York Knicks was going to lose to the Lakers. And for a, whip, for a minute, it looked like it. It looked like they was about to prevail in a premonition. But at the same time, the New York Knicks did what they do. When they, when they got their back up against the wall. No, they didn't lose the game. They won. <laughs> That's a little joke I had to get in there real quick. But really, let's get serious. Like, the Knicks came in. Um, and um, I don't know, like... I don't know if people had the Lakers beating the Knicks because um, this game was um, shown on TNT. Um, the things about I don't like when when the Knicks games are not played at home. Even when they played at home, sometimes our announcer uh, Frazier and um, what's it called? They really, they don't do the Knicks justice. We need a new announcers. I'm being honest. We need new announcers. But um, Reggie Reggie Miller and um, Marv Albert. For some reason, they didn't want to give the Knicks no credit last night. I mean, the Knicks came out hot. For once, the starters came out looking like they knew what they were doing. But it, it didn't last long. By the time the second quarter came in, they started getting into that funk. The end of the um, half on what? The Lakers went on like a 15. Let me see some. Um, a 15 to 2 run. Yeah, Lakers went on a 15 2 run. Um, and honestly, because the ball stopped moving. When the, when the game started, the ball was flowing. R.J. Barrett was getting the pass off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Evan Fourier was looking great. You know what I'm saying? He was looking like the reason we signed them. But then the ball stopped moving. And I don't know. The bench came in and added on to that lead. We pushed that lead up to 25 points. It was looking good. I mean, I was like, yo, the Knicks is about to blow the Lakers out. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I said my last week, I wish LeBron James had played. But, um... I want to point something out. Everybody wants to say, oh, LeBron James didn't play. Le LeBron James didn't play. That team is loaded. Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony, Russell Westbrook, DeAndre Jordan. These are all Hall of, Hall of Famer players. So the Knicks came out there with relatively a bunch of nobody. I mean, we know them because they're on our team, but a lot of other people across this country barely know who... Um, I'm not going to say R.J. Back or R.J. Back. He's well known from Duke. But people don't really know who um, Julie is well. I don't know. We have we have well-known names, but uh, they're not the talent that will get you past where we need to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, but um, actually, it made me kind of upset because we got the win, but then they blew the... The announcers blew the victory, but people blow with LeBron James. They always go, the Knicks beat the Lakers uh, without LeBron James. And like I said in many of my videos, I'm a LeBron James fan. I'm usually I'm not an individual player fan. Well, that's a lie because Allen Houston was my favorite player as a Nick and Isaiah Thomas. But other than them two players, I didn't have a favorite player for a long time until LeBron James came along. And man, I was heartbroken when he didn't choose the Knicks. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping. But at the same time, the Lakers are a stat team. And yesterday, I will say that was a, a win that deserved, you know, some type of accolades to get up and get hyped for. But at the same time, I don't know if you could say there's anything such as a bad win. Like I said, there's a good victory in my last video. But that, that win, it felt good. I'm not going to lie. It felt good to get the win, but it just... You felt a little bit tainted because we had such a big lead that I thought that we were able to blow these. I wanted to blow the Lakers out. I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to blow the Lakers out, come back here, and make a video, and just be like.
you know, just like have one of them games where everything is just perfect, but it didn't work out that way. But we got the victory. That's the only thing that matters if you really want to ask me. But um, before I go on, I'm going to hit y'all with some stats. Like, it was 63 and 651 at halftime. The Knicks took that lead. The Lakers, they cut it down to 12 points, and then they tied, they tied the game up a couple of times before our super bench got in the game and took over. And this is what I said last time. I don't know why that he don't play the bench more. I mean, actually, it was a pretty good strategy. He played them down, but as long as you got the lead, you can play like that. And what I mean about that, he kept the starters in as long as they could, and I guess that was weighing down the other team starters. And then he brought in quickly and Burke and Toppins, and that was a good that was a good matchup because we ended the game well. And the only reason that lineup was in the game, actually, uh, Randall came back and he played center. I don't think he should have been in there, but it was better than Norlene's Noel. I don't know if Norlene's Noel is, is fully healed, but um, other than him, his injuries, he's not a very high IQ basketball player. He have the athleticism, he blocked, but. He just reacts. He don't think because it was a play when the ball got passed to him. Like he, he don't even look for passes. And when he do get the ball, it's a bunch of fumbling. We made a couple of decent shots. Some shots I was really nervous when he took them, and when he took it and missed, I was mad. But when he took it and made it, I was like, okay. But um, like I, I started this video off by saying that somebody said that we we're gonna go um on a six game losing streak. That's because we have played the Lakers the first game. We have the Suns coming up. We have the Hawks, the Nets, the Bulls, and then Nuggets. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you. These are some good teams. All right, let me see. The Lakers was nine and nine before we sent them to ten and nine. Um, the Suns, the last time I checked their record, they was 13 three. Uh, if they played, I didn't check to see if they played again. I'm, that's my bad. The Hawks are eight and nine, basically. Nets is 12 and 5, actually 13 and 5 now. Bulls is uh, um, 13 and 5 now, too. And the Nuggets is down 9 and 8. Uh, actually, 10, yeah, 10 and 8. So, you know what I'm saying? These teams are formidable, formidable teams. And I still think the Knicks are going to split this. I think they're going to split this road trips. Well, not road trips, because you got the Suns at home, but. Yeah, I think they're going to split the road trip because, I don't know, I think the Sun might beat us at home. I don't know, but I think we're going to beat the Hawks and we owe the Bulls. And to be honest with you, the Nuggets is not playing well and one of their players just went out for the season. So, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But, um, yeah, I think the Knicks is going to take this game, the Suns. I'm being honest with you, I think that victory over the Lakers is going to show them what they need to do, how the ball is moving and everything. Uh, Evan Foyer, I'm just going to jump over to the stats. He has played 42 minutes. He scored 26 points. He had four rebounds, two assists, and he shot eight for 14 from the field, six for nine from downtown, four for four from the free throw line. He had two turnovers, no blocks, no steal. This was one of Evan Foyer's better games. Matter of fact, this was his second best game from the opening when he dropped the 32 points. Um, and... I could I contribute that to him getting the ball in the right spots and teammates actually looking for him this game. Uh, Julius Randle, he had 16, 20 points, 16 rebounds, five assists. He shot seven to 17, one for five from downtown, five from eight from the free throw line, um, one steal, no blocks, and four turnovers. He's killing us on them turnovers because he had turnovers in the worst moment. And when he had the turnover, it kind of take the team out the flow because the team be like. If you would have passed that ball, you wouldn't have turned it over. And it, I don't know. Like, he's our star. He's our leader. So we're going to have to put up with the bullshit. Uh, Julian, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, 12 points, 27 minutes, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 from 8 from the field, 3 from 5 from downtown. It was going to get better. One of his better games, but not in points. But he, he was been doing so poorly lately that yeah, this was a good game. But... Burks quickly and topping was the saviors. I mean, our bench keep doing what they're supposed to do and doing what nobody expected them to do, actually. Um, the bench came out, it scored between them three guys, there's 38 points. And um, if the, if, but how, I'm saying, I don't know, how, it's, it's between them, they scored 38 points and they scored 15 of the last, out of the last 16 points, they scored 15 points in the fourth quarter. I don't know if the bench is going to keep this play up, but 
I'm happy with it, but I'm, I'm see. I, I mean, Isaiah. I, too, I like to call him Isaiah Thomas 2.0. Quickly wasn't really having a good game, but somehow he stepped it up in the fourth quarter. And for some, and I guess Tibbs noticed that because he left him in there. I was kind of nervous. I actually was yelling at the TV, get him out of there. But uh, he hit that first three, just rattled around, boom, 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 and everything just fell in place. And I actually like the lineup. Walker's not getting it. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm just glad we didn't really spend anything really to get Kimball Walker. But um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He's a liability on defense. He don't have the quickness he used to have. He's missing shots. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But the season is still young, and he can have an outburst. But I don't know. Like, that was a good victory. That was a very good victory. And I'm laughing. You know what I'm saying? To all y'all Nick haters and y'all Laker lovers, you know who you are. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. But with that being said, I want everybody out there to stay safe, stay, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.